All right, welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. Today we're going to be working on long shadows inside of Affinity Photo. This is what we'll be creating, but I just want to show you something really quickly. And the reason why we don't do this with layer effects is if we come into layer effects and we go to outer shadow and we crank up the uh, offset, we can kind of get pretty far away from it, but we're limited because once we get too far away from it, it actually detaches from the lettering. We're going to do it a different way. So let's start off with a new document and we'll go 1920 by 1080 for now. And we'll come over to our artistic text tool and type in long shadows. Let's use a really thick font for this. All right, so once we have the text where we want it, let's go ahead and, and uh, stylize this the way that we want. So I'll go into layer effects on this one. We'll give it a color overlay. We're going to make it red for now. And we're going to give it a very faint outline. Let's give it like 0.1 pixel just to break it off the background there. So now what we need to do is we need to duplicate this layer and we need to move it in whatever direction we want our shadow to go. And we want to keep it kind of tight since this is pixels. So we're going to go one pixel at a time, either down and over or up and over. And so I'm going to speed this up real quickly. We're going to go Command J to duplicate it. We'll take this bottom layer, go into the layer effects, make sure that our color overlay is back to black, and we'll turn the outline off for now. So now it's just a matter of duplicating and moving. So we'll go down one pixel, over one pixel, Command J, down one over, and I'm just going to speed this up and just go as many times as you need to go until the shadow is the length that you want. All right, for purposes, we're going to stop right about there for now. You can go on as long as you like. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll take these shadow layers now and we will group those. Because now we have complete control. So if we wanted to come in and change the color of the shadow, we could come in and give it a layer effect and go to color overlay. And let's say we kind of wanted to match the color of the text. We come over to red, lighten it up some like that. If we want, we can come into and give it a, a live filter and come down to Gaussian Blur and maybe bring that up like half a pixel. And that will definitely get rid of any sharp, jagged edges from the pixels. Again, according to your taste, it looks, looks, actually looks pretty good even without any on there. And now everything is completely editable as far as the shadow layers and the text layer. So if we wanted to come in here and change the color of the uh, text and make it green, we could easily do that and then come back to the layer effects of the shadow and go back to black if we wanted to. And then if you want to add in like some uh, some lighting effect or whatever, you could come in and create a blank pixel layer, drag that to the bottom. And I would just use a gradient to mimic your light and come across and move it around to create the look that you're looking for. And really that's about it. Very easy technique to create long shadows. You can go as long as you want and stylize it the way that suits you best. If you learned something from this, please hit the like button or think about subscribing to my channel for more tutorials like this one. And until next time, peace. Talk to you later. Bye.